Yo, what's up everyone? This is Nathan Cross checking in. For today's video, I'm going to be doing some analysis and teaching you a few drills that you can try out with some hurdles or whatever you've got to build up that massive stride length and stride frequency like Usain Bolt. Now the major distinction between the first drill and the second is not just the amount of step you're taking, but what you're doing while you're taking those steps. Focusing on stride length is the epitome of the first drill. If you're taking one foot in between each step, focus on getting your knees nice and high, really elongating your strides and getting a really tight turnover from one step to the next. Now in this drill, it is our intention to condition stride frequency. Here I'm placing the hurdles about one foot of separation from each other and this is to work on two things, the precision in our steps and the amount of force and the direction of the force. You really want to focus on driving down and driving back up in your steps but also making sure that you're not only expending that energy on going forward. Now you really want to split up your drills. The other drill was for elongating your strides, now it's for building that power and the speed at which you're taking your steps. Now one issue that I see very often occurring when people attack the hurdles for the first time is that they get their knees up, they attack it head on, but the issue is that they still find their way to clip their feet when they're going over the hurdles. And it is often derived from the fact that their turnover is just not as tight as it needs to be. Now when I'm doing this drill, regardless if I'm putting one foot in each space or two feet, I'm still getting my knees nice and high and I'm practically kicking my own butt in these drills. A tight turnover in hurdle work and a tight turnover in sprint work in general will get you much faster time and build efficiency and consistency. Now the second issue is that you might want to just scale the drill down. You might not be able to get your knees up as high as you need to get them yet, especially for that turnover. So scale the drill down or just use lower hurdles or obstacles, whatever you're using. Now this forward and back pattern, it's a lot harder than it looks in practice. Now it's all about going forward two hurdles and going backwards one. And it really helps to build explosiveness and drive while you're already in motion. Now something that does happen when people start out with this drill in particular is, as you would, issues that arise with other hurdle drills. You end up clipping your feet, you're not focused enough. And again, it has to do with the tight turnover, but it also has to do with balance, shifting your body weight, and comfortability. Practice it on a single hurdle and eventually transition to multiple ones. Another issue that arises is that people often go forward and then when they go back, their legs are like going around the sides of the hurdles, which is wrong. What you need to do is be strict with it and go directly over and go directly backwards. That way you're not cheating yourself and you're not cheating the drill. All in all, if you can work your way up to this drill and consistently practice every other drill mentioned thus far, you will build your way up to having that massive stride length and frequency just like Usain Bolt. 